Ad blockers are Yeah, I get that message all the time now on YouTube. I told you guys I'm not crazy. Do you guys remember when you were making fun of me and saying, hey, Alana, do you not use an ad blocker for YouTube? Why are you getting this? I'm like, it's because I have an ad blocker and they're rolling it out. Okay, Lars, get so shut the fuck up. I uninstalled and downloaded you block origin and it works again. I'm telling you, they're gonna they're 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 getting aggressive. I literally click off videos when I see that. I you can't click it off though. Holter, you know what happens? First it starts telling you to click it off, right? And then it literally blocks your thing and it never stops. You have to un undo it. It starts with the clicking off, like you can press the X. I don't watch the videos at all. Holter, everyone runs ads though. Yeah, you can't, like you have to, like... It you you can't watch it, period. Everyone has ads. Hi, Crawling Abyss, what's up? I've taught her that Andrew's long enough. I mean, I understand, but I'm saying it's gonna get worse. It's time to download YouTube videos. <laughs> Yo, it's actually kind of cooked. I am actually thinking about that, to be honest. And when I do it, it still stay sometimes? Yeah. It's really bad now. It's gonna start being more and more aggressive as time goes on. I'm telling you guys, watch out. That was not teaching you video yet no reclamo. Yeah, because you have a different VP. You you live in a different place. That's why. Looking for me to they're pushing your content the algorithm. Sorry, my ad blocker is working though. Uh, it's not gonna be working soon. Also, sniff them out. <laughs> Sniff the new chatter! Yes, I know, but I won't watch videos of people I don't know or stuff I'm not that interested in. Well, I mean, yeah, but like, what if you're really interested in that person and they have an ad? Yeah, it's rough. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get an ad here. You guys are getting partner in London. Thank you, Jay! Thank you, thank you. I will suffer through it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I have a lot of chores to do. Don't worry, I have to worry about Adplug if you just pay for YouTube Premium. It's, it's a decent chunk of change though, to be fair. I will still watch the videos you upload after watching them three times already. <laughs> cheese the cheese the. Browsers can and have been blocked. Yeah, I'm telling you, browsers are gonna start. You, you will, you will see. You will see. You guys will see. It, it'll start, it's, it'll start unblocking it, and then you can't block it anymore. I'm telling you. So cooked out of my mind. Mochi, are you okay, man? I don't mind pre-rolls, it's the mid-rolls that get to me because I'm often too busy to get the ass I'm stuck listening to those 15 fucking minute long Genshin ads. Dude, that is fucked up. My stolen premium mode works? That's based. Yeah, Asmin will explain. I'll, I'll, I'll let Asmin explain because like I know what's going on, but you guys probably don't. Anyway, ad blockers are not allowed on YouTube. It's gonna be bad are not allowed on YouTube. Oh boy. Uh-oh. Here uh -oh. we go. It looks like you may be using an ad blocker. Ads allow YouTube to be used by billions worldwide. You can go ad-free with YouTube Premium and creators can still get paid from your subscription. So there it is. You can just close it. Yep. Yeah, you can close it. And this but is the way they do it, right? But then eventually it hits you again. So they're not just going to they're not just going to flip a switch, right? They're going to do this slowly. And mm -hmm. eventually uh you're going to have to watch ads. For me, it took about 2 weeks until this happened, by the way. Two weeks of this, like, you can click it away, and then they ramped it so that I had to watch it. That's what's gonna happen. Uh, these fucking assholes have ads in the middle of songs now. Well, I don't know about that. It depends. They're cooking. They'll eventually make it impossible. 
There it is. I'll, I'll read some of the comments. People like frogs in the pot. Well, here's the thing, right? I'll just pay for a VPN. I, I don't mean, think a VPN is going to help. Okay. I mean, couldn't they just make it to where you can't access something with a VPN? Like, I've gone to a website yeah. that you can't go to if you have a VPN That's also on. a good point. Yeah. Can we I mean, see I, Asmin I don't chat? Know. Oh, yeah. Good point. What Hold would on. a VPN change? Yeah. I, I. What would a VPN change? Oh, uh, VPNs... So like they're it, it's the they it, it actually do change ads they do because yeah they do and if you VPN to Russia you won't get ads it's quite funny I've done it before is that good enough I think that's good enough to enjoy the the Aspen chat <laughs> yeah that's good enough right okay because like if you're going to like Brazil with a VPN. You're going to get an ad for somebody in Brazil, right? Naturally. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's your location. Because, like, for example, um, like, each ad targets different groups of people. So, like, for example, if ads. you are in Madagascar, you're probably not going to get an advertisement for American McDonald's, right? Mm -hmm. It's just probably not going to happen. So, if you go to Madagascar... And there are no ads that advertisers have put under the list of countries that they want their ads shown to. They don't want anybody in Madagascar seeing these ads because nobody there has maybe any money or like whatever the fuck, right? Or like some other shit country. I don't even know if Madagascar is a shit country or not, but like I'm pretty sure there's plenty of them. Where there's like no advertising being done in those countries because the people there don't have any fucking- I go German ads, I'm in Africa? Really? That's so interesting. How does that work? DVPN or something? Fine. So that's why people use VPNs to go to other countries so they can avoid the ads. It's because ads are only programmed to be shown in certain parts of the world. That's it. So uh, that's a good point. Uh, you can set up your Wait, U-block filter Asmus regarding space. this. has worked for me so far. Um, I, I want to say, guys, that... So I'm going to say two things, and they might be contradictory. It's Hopefully better. people can understand the difference. If you are a very savvy internet user, you will probably be able to avoid seeing ads. Yo, this is based. You can set up your filter and uBlock regarding this has worked for me so far. Dude, this is so based. But look at that chat. Most people and in general, ad block will eventually be a thing of the past. And that's the truth. Yeah. Because at a certain a point most people will probably just opt to just deal with it. Just watch the ad and not complain. Everybody says, oh, not me. I won't do that. Yes, you will. If it's People did this for years, by the way. People used to sit through ads all the time. Do people forget the time before during cable where you'd like just sit there and watch like commercials and shit? You were brainwashed to watch that shit. Like, you were just thought it was okay. Now we're back to, I fucking hate ads. You know what I mean? Everyone always shits on me, by the way, for not liking ads. Like, on YouTube as well. But then they complain about this shit. It's wild. Takes longer than watching the ad. And there will always be some people that don't do it. But... Here's the truth. As much as people complain about Twitch Some ads showing were fun. a bunch yeah, of ads, ads and aren't things fun like anymore this, either. It doesn't actually affect people's viewership. People say they hate the amount of ads that are on Twitch, but whenever I look at the amount of people that are uh whenever people that are playing ads it does, then show me the numbers that it does. Th then show me the numbers because they don't though. People sit through them. It it's the same principle as sitting at the TV waiting for your show to come back. The commercial comment is irrelevant because commercials didn't occur during content. Um, I mean, I would, I will argue devil's advocate here. They did show up during content, but you expected it. If you know what I mean, like commercial break, right? Like they, they don't just cut it to the ad, right? They, they eased you in. They're like, boop, 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 boop. we'll be right back after this commercial break, right? Like, or or when you're watching like a show, they'll have like a cut where it's like, dun dun dun, and then the ad plays, right? And then you come back and it's fine, right? 
aggressive ads like for example asmin is talking about something and then i'll i'll probably get an ad right now by the way i'm not even kidding i'm comparing to twitch ads. yeah yeah no i'm i'm i agree with you i'm saying like people are like oh like you know youtube ads like they're not the same they're you have to watch those and i like ads for my content creators like dude it's an it's a fucking ad it's crazy that people think like this. I don't like think this. the numbers reflect that viewpoint. I want to say also, like, I don't really care about this whole thing. Like, oh, well, I click off. Eggman! Well, who cares about you? There's Hi, Eggman. Happy partner day, Stinky Face. Thank you so much. We had such a blast today. It was awesome. Thanks for being here. We're just watching an asthma video about ad blockers and shit. I'm probably going to get hit by an ad soon, so it's kind of ironic. The cut the commercial right when something crazy happens and try to catch you up after. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, the difference is when I needed to grab those. Oh, needed the breaks to grab drinks, food, or take a body break. No, but now we carry our televisions in our pockets. App breaks aren't convenient anymore. Yeah, that is a good point, actually. They're really pushing YouTube Premium these days. I might have to. Bite the bullet and buy it on my YouTube account, my VTuber one. I might have to, because I used to run an ad blocker all the time, and now I'm getting completely destroyed. I have to watch ads, so I will have to probably buy it. Take the L, you know? It better be free to buy a family user for your, both your accounts. Yeah, but that you pay, you're you paying for four accounts, but you're only using two, so I don't know. That sounds kind of... It's not worth it for me, I think. I don't know, I'll think about it, but still. Frequency duration of ads is so erratic. Sometimes you get six minutes of ads, sometimes you get one for 40 second ad every 20 minutes. I try not to be aggressive when I do my ads. I really do. I know what it's like to be blasted by ads constantly. I'm a developer, I shall say that server cost for YouTube should be giga massive. Should be. Give away that two remaining stuff for family. Um, I don't know if that's safe. I don't know if that's safe because it might have my credit card on it or something like that. I, I don't know if, if that's viable. I, I might look into it, but I'll see what I can do. I don't think you can. I've never heard of people doing it. I might have my credit card linked. Like, what if I want to unlink it and then they find my credit card somehow? If you're like connected to the, you know, to the family account, if you know what I mean. I only started using Adblocker probably three months ago. I also tolerated the advertisements for too long. <laughs> yeah, now you're gonna get right back in there. <laughs> Never understood that complaining about ads. I just use Adblock. No, no, these are like ads that are inside of YouTube videos. I'm actually not sure. Maybe if someone is a content creator here, cough, cough. Um. If someone here knows how content creation ads work, like for example, you get sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. If I watch a video from three years ago and you have an ad from Raid Shadow Legends, how does that work? Does that does that ad still work for you, like the sponsorship link? Or is there an expiration date? Because I really want to know this and I don't have anyone that I can ask. I'm really curious because I've been reamed the fuck out for skipping an ad that was from five years ago in a video. And people were like freaking the fuck out at me about it. And I was like, okay, I'll just fucking watch it so they don't fucking freak out. I bet it expires. I'm pretty sure it does too. Because it's been three fucking years. They can't keep it up. Like they don't get money from that. Seems like a question for the acting mail. <laughs> I was hoping, I was hoping it was a little slow, maybe not. I was supposed to mostly pay a flat fee or a dollar amount per thousand views. Right, okay. So how would that work for an old video? Like if you have an ad in there and then it says like, up to a cap that usually lasts three to four weeks. Oh my god, man! <laughs> That's so crazy! So all those people that were yelling at me for skipping an ad from five years ago are all wrong? <laughs> Crazy. It's almost like the vast majority of people are stupid and they don't know what they're talking about. Oh, thank you for clearing that up, though. Like, that shit... I got so much hate. 
for skipping a 30 second ad on a video from five years ago. <laughs> so now I just let it ride. So, I mean, I don't really know. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, I never skip ads on, like, rec recent videos because I know they have to get the bag and whatnot. Like, you're you're leeching off them, so to speak, right? But it's like, holy shit, dude. Some sponsors are paid depending on how many people click the link, signing up, whatever. Yeah! After about a month, most sponsors will settle between the sponsor and the content creator. Yeah, or they have, like, hey, the first 100 people signing up get a discount. So that's how it works as well. Gosh, okay, well, I feel at least a little bit, like, validated in that regard, so thank you. That's crazy, though. Again, ads. Ads! There's a million people ads on make the, the website. Go round. Why would they make decisions based off of one person? The truth is ads, that I don't ads, get ads so on, uh, ads. no more on mobile. I get ads on mobile. I get ads on mobile a pretty good All amount. All the time, actually, So don't personally. trust the specific, you have it fake. Yeah, there you go. Should've Depends taken the, the right stream. sponsor um, to find we out. We are Absolutely. leaving the channel <laughs> as the ad starts. But there is, but that's, that, this is a viewer power fantasy. Every single observable metric that I have available to me shows that that is not the case. So I understand, yeah, who's there? There's no we, that's an I. You say, I am leaving the channel. That's fine. You're making the same <laughs> argument as voting. If it One guy leaves the channel. I'm leaving. Just sponsored by Warhammer 40k mobile games, the way she explained it was based on how many people downloaded through her link and played to a certain point. Yeah, that's why I didn't take the raid sponsorship. No ads on TikTok? Brain mist, I get ads on TikTok. Everyone does. It's not as uh, aggressive as YouTube, but it, they are still there. Some just people just like talking out their ass when they don't know anything. Yeah, I, call, I got called a stupid bitch and... Uh that I don't know what I'm talking about and that I should keep myself safe or kiss myself, you know, over literally skipping an ad. It's just fucking cringe. Also, people make no money from TikTok. No, they don't. There's a guy that has like 3 million followers on TikTok and he makes dirt money basically compared to people who do YouTube and Twitch. Here on YouTube on Twitch, you're forced to watch them. Yeah, basically. You can skip some ads, but yeah. It's quite it's quite annoying. I find it very immersion breaking, especially when it's like something like an asthma gold video. Um just in general, really, because people don't make space for YouTube uh, for YouTube ads. Like you like asthma doesn't just say, hey, we'll be right back in like 15 seconds and then an ad cuts, you know, like it's it's immersion breaking, even if it's like a, a YouTube video that's he's just talking about in his Twitch stream. It's stupid. Typical iron assholes as you usually do. Yeah, it's I'll, I'll get used to it. Surely. Right, guys. <laughs> one vote doesn't affect you in the grand scheme of things, but it's a principle that if you affect you have theoretically, theoretically, you're so full on memes than it matters. Tonight. <laughs> what I'm saying is that. Uh oh, we're zooming in. I am. I'm so upset. Let me just let me address this. Is the uh, audio okay, by the way? With voting, you're right. Fine. And also, you you are right. You are absolutely right. He's so that weird. If everybody did something, it would happen. But they don't. They don't. No, they don't. They don't it's the do same it. principle as TV, television, So watching. it doesn't really matter what, like, theoretically, oh, and theoretically this could happen. Well, that's not real, is it? This is just theoretical. Yeah, the metric doesn't show what's not there. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I think it kind of does. Uh, honestly, I think it never affects newer streamers and the older ones. Data for up-and-coming streamers is, not, is different. Not sure, just my theory. I don't really think that it's that big of a difference, man. Yeah, I do a poll to see how many people click off. I'll tell you how many times people have told me they click off during pre-rolls on Twitch. Imagine you're a little streamer and you have like 10 viewers, right? And then you click on them and immediately get blasted by a pre-roll. I've, I know, I know this is anecdotal. This is anecdotal, absolutely. But keep in mind, I've been doing this for five months, basically like almost full time. You leave. It's not, it, it. It's again, it's the whole immersion breaking thing, right? Like imagine you turn on a channel and you immediately get hit by an ad. That shit pisses you off. I always remember when I was a little kid and I was flicking through um like, you know, kids channels, right? 
and you see Cartoon Network is playing an ad, you're not going to sit through the ad unless you know what the show is going to be and you know what you're going to consume, right? I, w I would skip to, like, Nickelodeon or whatever else. Like, I would skip to the channel to see if I could find something that would get me that dopamine hit that I'm looking for. Depending on the browser, mute the tab. I mean, I'm saying, like, a vast majority will do that specifically. They will just click off and then they're gone forever and they might not even ever come back. Of it's cringe, but plays. it's true. I think a That's lot how of people human say nature that works. Like your, the stream as soon as your brain plays, just works like I that. But I don't think that they actually do it. I think that they say they do it because they get mad about ads and they like to talk about how they don't watch stuff with ads, but I don't think that they actually do it. You're wrong. I will sit through to watch an ad on Asmongol because I know what's coming. I know that Asmund is going to be there and it's that is like what I'm going to consume in that moment for people with low discoverability or you don't know what's going on. Like you just want to come and hang out. It's something about like not knowing what's coming and just clicking off. I think personally, again, this is completely anecdotal. I don't have any scientific evidence or anything like that. Like to that matter but still i feel like that's part of the problem for yeah when you're discovering someone is to turn off yeah absolutely hi pgr thank you so much thank you thank you there's a difference between as on con carnage or as well or some new small streamer yeah absolutely because the loyalty is there in your brain like again it's the loyalty factor as well excuse me Specifically talking about discovering someone you no, I agree with him that nobody really clicks off ads. Like if if I if I'm watching a Shy Lily stream and I'm trying to like <laughs> I'm trying to like watch her stream and I'm trying to learn, I will sit through the ad. Absolutely. Like I will sit through it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna click off of her just because an ad ran, and that's the point. If you're finding someone small, it's like Yeah learn yeah she's a really good streamer she's learning you'd be surprised i sit there and i learn stuff from her how mannerisms what to do when chat is moving a lot all kinds of things no no don't be fucking dirty i'm not in that way it's it's a completely like all right you guys are fucking weird anyway no, I'm, not. Um, I'm not wrong the way that i can prove not like that, that i'm not wrong no is that I can look at the data of different streamers who run a bunch of ads no, not like that. and what their viewership Weird. is like before an ad and after an ad. And running an ad, even like a two minute ad, does not translate to a quantifiable amount of, of people leaving the stream that exceeds just the normal ebb and flow of people just leaving and coming a stream coming mm -hmm. into a stream and and that's it people leave and come back yeah they might leave for like five minutes and then they come back and then it's just the same go look at the for smaller streamers not the same smaller streamers get affected a lot and that's why people who blast like three ad uh, three minute ads on their pre-roll or whatever or during their stream i don't think pre-rolls are three minutes but the point is is that they they lose a lot of viewers and i've seen it happen before where i accidentally ran an ad and i lost a bunch of people and that's why it matters for smaller Data people then now you're talking about hypotheticals you criticize too much i wish they wouldn't repeat ads yes i also hate that as well personally um what data what data do you want me to use what what data what data would you would you like me to use for All example right, hit him. kai hit him. and aiden ross run three minutes of ads non Stop. Have you watched their streams? No. They spam the fuck out of ads. No, they, no, no, no. Okay, so then, all right, well, look into it. No, because of that. Yeah, exactly. Are their streams dying? No, they're not. No, they're not. It's got there point. it is. People don't leave after the ad gets played. They just wait until the ad is over. That's it. People watch another monitor. Or they complain about click ads. Off, since I usually watch on mobile, I chose to stream or the app entirely if an ad happens. So here is my experience as a person who has done YouTube and Twitch and all of I these things Twitch over Turbo. the last. Yeah, I can, you can justify Twitch Turbo the same way you can justify having a. Did you guys ever have TVs that that could pre-record and skip ads? My parents had one of those in their parents' bedroom. 
In the parents' bedroom, I mean, excuse me. And when they pre-recorded stuff, like, they'd say Game of Thrones, right? And they recorded it because it was, like, at 2 a.m. or something, like, the premiere, right? And then they would watch it. It would skip all the ads for them, but they had to pay a premium for the, the box to do that, specifically. I think that's probably also what's going to come, too, like, with, in that kind of way. It's pretty obvious the 10 cashiers don't lose any as much smaller streamers, especially streamers below 1k viewers. Asma's opinion on this seems out of touch. No, no, he's specifically describing bigger streamers, which is what he's talking about. He hasn't brought... He has not talked about smaller streamers. I, I understand where the viewpoint is um coming from. TiVo? No, I can't remember what it was called. It was like... I can't remember. It's been so long. You'd marry forward manually forward through ads? Yes. Without ads, we wouldn't have famous Alana Vita Brook hash race. So many ads, 14 ads. No, that's from Tyler. That was, that was from Tyler. <laughs> Jesus Christ, almost 10 years. People. Oh, what does it mean? People are much more accepting of ads than they used to be. Yeah, that's Back thanks to TV. Back in 2015, the amount, or 2014, the amount of people that I had watching me that had ad block on was between 75 and 80 percent of people mm -hmm. no i'm not no 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 this isn't a no situation this is me expressing no. my <laughs> like this is this no. is what i've experienced <laughs> this, this is my opinion this, this is my no. it, this isn't my this is data no. this is actual data yeah these are statistics that. this isn't a no, no situation <laughs> it's data no. Nowadays, walks away, clicks off the stream. We have only like <laughs> 40 to 60% of people that are using Adblock. So the amount of people that have been using Adblock has gone down by almost half. A mm -hmm. lot of people use less Adblock because they don't work anymore. Exactly. And did they stop watching? No. Nope. No, they didn't. In it's fact, a loyalty thing, too. That yeah, bulk works just fine. Well, it depends on which one of this. Those that are here won't click off when an ad pops up. Only people that enter the stream and instantly see an ad will leave. That's a barrier to entry, and people will follow the path of least resistance. Yeah, yeah. I think pre-roll ads are bad, too. But Yeah, see? Pre-roll ads? Bad. And if you browse a lot of VTubers or whatever genre you want, go get Turbo. It's so much better. It's it's so much better if you're into browsing stuff and not getting pre-rolled constantly because I can't control my pre-rolls personally. It's so fucking annoying. I I get pre-roll gaps in my streams all the time. It's very, very stupid. But that's like kind of a separate issue. But yeah, I agree with that. I think it's because of more phone users. Uh, you're right. There are more phone users. But the truth is that no, if phone are, users are true. willing to watch YouTube on their phone because, and it, Twitch. you know, like they want to. I have 20%. And, they're looking at ads on their phone. Use that means that those people are still accepting followers. ads, right? I mean, fundamentally, they're still accepting ads. So if they're doing it, I think yeah, that kind of proves work, my exactly. point is that people are willing to do it if they're on mobile. I'm just leaving ads come back. I come back I later. Have to bite the and get to the stream. Sometimes they are. Yeah, you're right. It's more like a lot of people are increasingly having access to the internet, and not everyone comes from a place of high tech knowledge uh, to be the co uh, for this to be the common norm. Yes, exactly. And so this is really what's going to happen. Okay, is that right now obviously a lot of people almost everybody nowadays is on the internet right right and so what's going to end up happening is you're going to have people that it becomes harder and harder and harder to ad block and why like do i why now. do i think this is going to be the case i think youtube also took a took a page out of twitch's book because i haven't been able to block twitch ads for a long time i think it's been over a year or two no, okay, maybe almost a year, probably, I think, yeah, where I've had trouble with adblock on specifically on Twitch, and I think they finally said, okay, if Twitch can do it, we can do it, and they're starting to blast. It's, it's kind of bad. Because it is Google's entire business model to make you see ads. Mm-hmm. Like, I it, it, there are too, billions of dollars riding on the ability for you to have to see chat. ads. There are people that are working at this very moment on solutions to make you see ads. Mm -hmm. There is a massive profit incentive for these people to shut down ad blocks and to make them not work. 
Now, does that mean that you will always have to see ads if you are a super savvy tech user? Probably no. not. But you're a small percentage. I miss the days when having Prime got rid of ads on the whole side. That's wild, man. How long ago was that? 2015, I think, right? Twitch is way worse because on YouTube, at least the video pauses and resume. Twitch, you lose bits of the stream. Yeah, you know, that actually does suck. I mean, in terms of the immersion argument that I was bringing up before, I think... Excuse me. <laughs> I inhaled so much air when I was freaking freaking out about partner. I think it's still hitting me right now. Um, when I, the immersion thing that I was talking about earlier with the whole YouTube thing, like if I got hit by an ad right now, it would piss me off. But also missing parts of the stream also pisses me the fuck off too. Something interesting happened is a tiny muted window. Yeah, I know. You can't tell what's going on. You might be missing out shit. The only thing you can pick up is chat and that's it. Is it TS for me to post something for those annoying Twitch ads in the Discord? I don't think so. I, I don't think so. <laughs> thank you, Obi! Thank you, thank you. Getting ads during a big tourney sucks. Yeah, I hated getting uh, ads during the Dota TI. It, it was so annoying, especially on my TV as well. We should have seen it coming with the 14 ads. <laughs> The thing is, what channel should I put it in? Um, I trust your judgment. Put it in whatever you think is useful. Maybe, maybe videos if it's a video or something. But it will maybe, become maybe general. so intrusive and so annoying to remove mm -hmm. the ads yeah. that most people will opt to just let it happen. Because having to change some sort of source code, it's an extension. put this stuff oh, into their information, yeah, like what the fuck, bro? How many people do you think are really gonna do this? Not a lot. I would do this, but someone would have to maybe walk me through it. Maybe a video or something. I would do it. <laughs> I use uBlock, but it doesn't work anymore, which sucks. But if if someone could tell me how to do this or it has a video, I would do it myself. I'm not a super duper tech savvy person. And also to another note. People used to block ads on their TV, but it took so much effort that people would rather sit through ads at this point. This. Nobody is going to fucking do this. Yeah. Like, and that's the truth. And I know people are going to say, oh, everybody's going to do it. No, they're not. No, this they're is not. just, again, it's internet delusion. These are people internet who are thinking that, there is, yeah. that they are actually the majority. It's insane. They are Most people that use the internet and watch YouTube videos are the laziest fucks in the world. True. Do you think that they're actually going to sit there and change True. this stuff? Absolutely not. So yes, it's the resistance, exactly. And so if you're resisting this kind of stuff, you will probably be able to do it for the indefinite future. But what I'm saying is that think of it like a race. And if you're running down a track and somebody puts one hurdle in front of you, you can jump over that hurdle and finish the race, right? But every single additional hurdle that they put in front of you, mm -hmm. there are going to be less people that are going to be jumping over each single time. Yep. Whether it's, you know, let's say half the people jump over at one hurdle and only a third of people jump over mm -hmm. at three hurdles, let's say. And eventually you put so many hurdles in the way that the people that make it to the finish line are such a small percentage that it's inconsequential and yep. you have conditioned the general population into accepting a certain activity. And that's what happens. And that's what's going to happen. So no, it depends on the individual learning how to do it is nowadays is pretty easy. I I know I know it seems like a crazy thing to you, like how easy it is for you, but for most people, they are not you. That's why it's not easy. <laughs> this is not easy for someone like it's easy for you but it's not for them like i'll ask my mom how to do this and she'd be like huh and then i'd show her a tutorial and she'd be like what what yeah we're built differently chat you guys don't understand you guys hanging out right now I'll tell You're you right now, ones. I've been saying it for years. People told me whenever I said this was going to happen three years ago, they said I was crazy. I was insane. It would never happen. It's happening now. Go back and watch my videos about it. Anybody could have predicted this. you guys this. called me I'm not stupid when this popped up This is common sense. Three weeks ago, this I know happened. For a fact you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, 
talking about? I think this is one of Asma's worst take in months. Why? Why is it a bad take? You have the spotlight. I want to hear it. Because I- this is also my take, personally. 80% of people would honestly not know how to do it, or are too lazy to do it and will deal with the ads because it's easier on their dented brains. It's hard! It's hard! This- this- this little fucking part! Bad take because bot! <laughs> <laughs> Asmin is wrong on this topic. It's easier to wash ass doesn't even make sense. Even spending three hours setting up a workaround would save time. Sedic, you are wrong. People are stupid. Do you guys not understand that people. <sighs> guys, you sitting in chat, 90% of, of you are already 90% smarter than the general population. You guys don't understand how stupid people are, especially if I'm not a tech savvy person. We know if we stupid. Yeah, but the people who are saying this is a bad take are incorrect. Why? Why did we watch TV ads? It was the same principle. You could block TV ads. You could. There, there was a way, but it was annoying. It was out of the way you had to look at a tutorial you had to learn from people or you had to go look it up on the internet there was a way to do it but people didn't do it because it's it's kind of annoying and it's kind of hard that's why i don't think this is a bad take it's the reason why ads still exist if ads if ads existed and we didn't watch them then ads wouldn't exist because they'd have to find another way to make money People spend thousands just to play their own uh, play their own video games less. No one's gonna put the effort in on some for advanced ad blocker. Yeah, and they're gonna make it even more difficult, even more difficult than you guys saw the little plugin that they had there, the little text uh, line of code that they had before. That's gonna get harder. They'll they'll learn that this is how they're getting around it, and then they <laughs> then they'll be like, oh, we have to up the ante. We have to make it more difficult. No tech hasn't gotten has gotten more easy to use that people are actually less tech savvy than us. Hold on. This isn't the 90s anymore. People are more tech savvy than ever. Oh my god, you are so wrong. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy that you think that. <laughs> I want you to find someone who works in IT tech support. And talk to them for five minutes and then tell me what they say. General population intelligence paper is Pepega level. I agree, Fewi. I absolutely agree. Even for me, I would have to go out of my way and go and do that. And then, God forbid, they change something and then it breaks the ad blocker again, by the way. Many people see ads and buy the products, especially old people and educated ones. Yes, and that's how they make their money. To be fair, since the YouTube crackdown on ad blockers, I've spent less time on YouTube. I know I'm not the majority, but I can only speak for myself. Yeah, that's because you don't want to watch ads. But, Squishy, if you're spending less time on YouTube, does that mean that your ad blocker isn't working? Like, interesting. I'm literally setting up a new ad blocker, but I'm like 100th of that would actually go through the effort. Yes, guys, because you're tech savvy. You're a, you're an admin or something. A stupid person won't be smart enough to spend three hours of their life in order to not waste time watching ads. I'm going back to the TV argument. Guys, it was possible to block ads, and it wasn't that difficult either. It just happened, and people didn't care. They were like, all right, well, you know, I have to deal with it. A lot of people don't have the patience or motivation to learn to do it, if it is the most easy, most simple... Wait. Easy, most will assume it's simply beyond their ability. Yes, I agree. Um, again, we'll, we could go back to it, otherwise I'd lose my spot. But the, the line of code, I think I could figure out where to copy-paste it if I had the tutorial and someone on Reddit was posting about it. But if they break it again and they make it more difficult, I might not be able to have the time to do it myself. I might have to, you know, just go the path of least resistance. I work tech support, I trust my cat in a cup of water and not break a computer more than the average user. 
This is the same logic as people saying, oh, you should just build your own PC, it's cheaper. Yes, the labor, the time. What if you're some, what if you're an old man, 45 years old, you just came home from the coal mines and then you have five kids screaming their fucking heads off. Your, your wife says, thanks, sweetie, I'm going to cook dinner. And you like pass out on the couch. It's three hours later, you open up a, a YouTube video and then it blasts you with ads, you know? Old bad 45. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Like, 45 is old for us, but you know what I mean. I'm saying he will not have the, f the mental fortitude or the strength to do it. And that is the vast majority of the population. They are just a 9 to 5 Joe who spends most of their time working. And then the weekend is dedicated to their kids. I wouldn't even say 5 kids. Let's say 1 or 2 kids. All my homies play on Costa so stuck as solo could How is this relevant to the conversation? Fuck me. My grandpa thought his phone's sound broke because his Bluetooth unknownly connected to some hearing aids he wasn't using. Aw, bless his heart, man. See? That's just, like, unfortunate, man. That's kind of sad. It's the truth, though. I learned this from Asmongold, that the vast majority of people who play World of Warcraft in general, like classic and retail, they they don't want to deal with the bullshit. They just play their own game and they like the simplicity. They don't want to, like, spend hours learning the game. Well, plenty of older people who learn how to use a PC. Yeah, but they're probably not as tech savvy as we are because we grew up with them. I am back. Hello back. I'm me is more easy sorry i went uh, on a massive tangent than what you think stop <laughs> making a big deal out of this is easy okay how do you do it oh I'm shit <laughs> oh shit he's pulling it up boys <laughs> my dad is not even that old and i have to help him all the time with this brain dead stuff i know and it's not his fault he didn't grow up with this shit let's go it's it's uh yo and so you're kind of getting famous <laughs> Asmin reacted to Asmin. Yeah, I'm a, I'm I'm the VTuber girl, Asmin. Voice changer and all. All right, I'm ready. I love you, Daddy. Don't ban me. Oh shit. <laughs> Yo, what a savage! As a cybersecurity engineer, I know for a fact that you don't know what you're talking about is more easy than you think. Stop making a big deal out of this. That is so funny, man. That is so funny. This guy. Don't ban me. I love you. I'm 30. They have to go out of half of this tech shit. I do too. I'm not 30. I'm barely over 25. I'm sure it's easy for you, a cybersecurity engineer, to know how to do it. How many of you guys have worked help desk? IT help desk. You guys ever done this before? How many times has there been something that you thought Oops, was sorry, easy? Sorry, I'm blocking him again. But I'm in bad. fact, for many people, Apologies. it wasn't that easy. No disrespect. Every time? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. There it is. There it is. Wow, uh, crazy. Effects, viewership, however, you live in a, in infinite growth capitalism, there will be a point where YouTube serves too many ads and it will cause viewers to leave. No. Nope. Yeah, we'll see what happens, but I don't think it's really at that level. I, I personally don't think that the ads on YouTube are intrusive. I see or help desk. I, I really don't think so. Uh, My brother, who is older than me, he worked in IT. The amount of people, even the ones that were his age, that came up to him and just couldn't figure out how to use a computer. You guys, computer literacy isn't that common. You guys are living in your own bubble. No offense, but some of you are terminally online, and so am I. I can't, I can't talk shit in that regard, but I'm trying to say that we are not them. We are terminally online freaks. We watch Twitch streams, we engage in memes, we say what is ohm. We say what is uh, 14 ads. It's, it's not real. You guys are living in a bubble and you need to get out of it. Or you need to get a real job, I don't know. Tomax basically lives to watch VTubers. <laughs> yeah, you guys are fucking nerds. You are. You are nerds.
Remind of the Asmogol set himself in 2015, 70% of his viewers had adblock installed. Let's not pretend it won't go back up there once the uBlock script is put into easy click install extension. Zorban, I will say this again. People said that about Twitch ads, and now everybody has to watch Twitch ads because they broke it and they finally... Like, Twitch ads are still blasting people. Yeah. Everyone, everyone who doesn't purchase or go around it in a sort of like, like, in a tech savvy way around ads on Twitch, my ad block to to blocks Twitch ads. Yes, and you're the one who's complaining, saying, "Oh, you guys should just do this. It's so easy." The only ones that I know of that are blocking Twitch ads, I think, right now, are Opera. And some other ad blockers, but they are always breaking constantly. Constantly. There's always a fight for it. Push ads are in armor to basically require custom filters to deal with. Yes, exactly. And once something breaks, you're spending hours on the forums figuring out how to fix it. You have to watch the ads in the meantime. It's not that hard if you keep up. What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? I wonder. It's not that hard to keep up. That's interesting. What do you do? <laughs> I don't have time. I stream. I have a part-time job. I basically pass out after I'm done with work and I'm done with everything. I'm done uploading videos. I'm, I have to talk to Polter about like my videos that I have to post on YouTube. I have to look through my own videos most of the time. It's a lot of work. Just gotta refresh extensions from time to time. Don't put any work into it. <sighs> okay. Alright, yep. You're, you, you just live in your own world. I refresh my extensions all the time! I do this for a living, and you think I don't do that? And the vast majority don't even use extensions. They see that the extension is broken and they uninstall it and never use it again. <laughs> Twitch embedded the ads into the video player, making it extremely difficult to block the ads. It's a drug of war of the people who make ad blockers. Oh, wow, that's crazy, Caius. It's almost like you know what you're talking about. Crazy. But don't worry, ads, you have to constantly keep up with this shit. The extension falls behind all the time. And then you have to install another extension to keep up with that extension, but then they conflict with each other, and then the, a person on the forum says that, oh my god, you have to, uh, you, you have to install the other extension, and then they uninstall the other one. It's conflicting. She's balding, guys. I'm, I'm balding out. I am balding out. I'm not, I'm not capping. I mean, I don't the problem, never had to find workarounds or anything, not saying it's going to be a problem in the future. Well, this is the future. I'm looking at it right now. That's the funny part. They're starting. It's going to happen. Like they ask you it's to watch to. a 15 That's second why it sucks. ad and most of the ones that are longer no, I won't than pull that, up you can skip can have after five opinion. seconds. If you say something really fucking stupid, I will, reasonable. but... It's fine it is, to have a it is a opinion. free service that is providing top quality <laughs> video content for no charge whatsoever that has an algorithm that feeds you videos that yeah, you block like is seeing. ahead right now you I, block I think origin this is extremely they have reasonable people for, going and around it, the... hosting all these videos you can upload your own videos I think this is extremely fucking fair mm -hmm. they sell information no you can watch YouTube without a uh, without an account ads in the middle of a song though true yeah that's stupid but that the people that put the ads in the middle of the song that, that's not youtube that's uh that's the individual who made the, the music or we did a few more comments true ad blocks will always win a few genius <laughs> ad blocks will always win a few geniuses working for a company versus millions of nerds and geniuses dude the copium that is a no, not exactly, man. No, that's cope. That's cope. Why do you think Twitch ads exist? It's a tug of war, but it's always, always going to be them winning. They want to. Literally millions of nerd. <laughs> Pull up their chat logs. Corporate gonna win. We have to keep fighting bad. I'm not saying they shouldn't, by the way. I completely agree. I love this take of like, I want the the little the little guy to win. That's how it's worked since the internet has existed. 
Piracy exists. There are workarounds, but they are extremely difficult. First of all, you have to you have to get around your ISP being notified when you pirate shit. For example, insert in certain states and countries, some some countries and some states have an extreme difficulty curve of getting pirated content. They will either throttle you, they will ban you, they will do anything in their power to stop you from basically leeching money off of them. The USA have to deal with that nonsense? Some countries outside of the US have to do it, man. I pirate shit all the time. I'm not even gonna deny it. I have done it before. I've used private servers, I've downloaded sims, I've downloaded software that I didn't want to pay for. I am, I've done it before. I didn't want to pay Photoshop like fucking $800. I wasn't gonna do it. And they completely failed to stop piracy. That is the biggest cap I've ever heard. It's not, it's not stopped. You are one of like the 0.01%. You're a partner, you can say that. In the past! In the past! I've downloaded illegally in the past. I can say that. FBI tag her. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. Oh, no. Isn't Russia one of the biggest base of piracy in the world? Uh, I don't know. You'd have to find like, statistics on it, but... Is it for companies because they can just ban the ad blockers? I'm telling you, it was a lot easier to pirate when Pirate Bay was around. And it's funny you bring it up and say that piracy actually got easier and it's it hasn't been stamped out. What happened to Pirate Bay? Didn't that die? Didn't, um, didn't Torrance die as well? Yeah, Torrance. I used to use that all the time and it died. Pirate Bay is still around. Okay, Torrance died. I know Torrance died for sure. No, 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 with a Z, with a Z. No, you guys don't know what you're talking about. Torrance. Torrance with a Z. No, no, you're wrong. No, Torrance is dead. That was one of the biggest sites, apart from Pirate Bay. Yeah, that died. I know it did because I remember that was, that was one of massive sites. There's a lot of new Torrance sites. I know there are, but the, one of the biggest ones got shut down. Both died but came back. I don't think so. Towards is mostly dead with so new signs and names and shit. But I'm saying when you spread them out, it's harder to get access to something, right? Like if you, for example, if they shut down uBlock tomorrow, everyone would have to learn a new ad block on top of that, if that makes sense. Yeah, ISO Hunt is dead too. Dude, I used to use ISO Hunt all the time, man. Been around for years. That's great, but I'm saying there are so many things that have been shut down in the past. I'm not saying that it's not going to cease to exist, but the difficulty curve and getting into it is, is, is a lot harder than it used to be. Tell me, in 2000, it was a lot easier. Just type in pirates websites and Reddit and find some threads talking about whatever popular sites. Uh, I, I'm telling you, those things are cooked. All you need is a Google search to find sites. Yeah, you'll probably download a Trojan or two while you're at it, too. You kind of have to, like, know what you're doing. I'm telling you, it was, it was a lot easier to pirate shit back in, like, 2000, 2010, and maybe up to, like, 2014, and that's when they started cra cr uh, cracking down on everything piracy-related. So, anyway, god, I went on another fucking massive tangent. It is getting harder. You can't deny that. Yeah, if view block goes down, a lot of people just not bother getting a new a new ad block, or or they would have to figure out what's the next best thing, and that would maybe not even work, man. I remember when the Pirate Bay fucking debacle happened, and people were freaking out. You couldn't do anything for weeks. Does the general population know about torrents and stuff? Like, guys, pretty sure we're minority internet users. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, and that's what Asmin is saying: is that the majority of people will not give a fuck. So just give up then a lot? No, no, absolutely not. Don't give up. No. Run a virtual machine. Download everything on the virtual machine, then copy to the server. Delete virtual machine. No Trojans. Oh my god. Yes, that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't know anything about virtual machines or how I like 
I personally don't even know how to set up a virtual machine. Do you think that like the vast majority of this chat knows how to do that? I don't. Do you think the general population knows? <laughs> It's sort of easy. I'm sure it's sort of easy, kind of like sort of easy, like figuring out how to unblock and block stuff on ads, you know? I'm pretty sure that's not a serious message, Alana. I don't know. I can't tell. It's hard to tell through text, so maybe they were. I don't know. Setting up a virtual machine is easy. I don't know. I don't think it is, but I could be wrong. Use a Linux virtual machine, save a shit against the virus. <laughs> Doing what they're describing is not that easy to actually do. I know it's crazy, right, guys? Genius is working for a company. The same thing with ad blockers. They say it's geniuses. easy, and then it's kind of not. I think it's kind of annoying. People that have this perspective. Thank you, Brony. Thank you. Really don't understand how many resources and how many tools. This is a cope. Yeah, it's a massive cope. It, it's like again, it's like an internet user power fantasy. Like <laughs> I'll give you a great example of this. Fantasy. Look at Reddit. <laughs> Do you remember when Reddit made the API changes and everybody got mad about it? Do you remember whenever Twitter made the massive changes and they got rid of everything and mm -hmm. nothing happened? Oh. Do you remember whenever YouTube got rid of the dislike button and nothing Wow, and nothing happened and people just have a browser now for the extension and nobody really cares. Damn. Oh, that's crazy. It's almost like... It's almost like people don't really like it when things change, but then they can't really do anything about it. Because it's kind of annoying. Something mm. happened. It's so it's astonishing out of the way. to me that people actually think that they're smarter than these multi, multi, multi billion dollar companies that have their entire business plan dedicated to solving this problem. You actually think that you're, you're going to figure it out over them. We got the extension, man. That's just crazy. Let's see here. Wow, um, you got the extension. Geniuses choose to work on this sort of 90% of people still don't use it, by the way. Geniuses. Really think that the people do what? Wait, 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 wait. What? What does that say? I doubt software engineers choose to work on this sort of thing. Only the ad blog side has geniuses. Buddy, they are hired to fix a problem. It's like this is some fucking delusion, man. Are you stupid? You know, people. Do you know people hire, like, actual good quote-unquote hackers to hack in cybersecurity because they get paid money? Do, they, do these people not understand that corporations hire people to do the opposite to try and fix it? And that's what these people are doing? They're trying to counteract the fucking ad block? <laughs> of course they're stupid, it's Reddit! True! True! People hire heckles all the time. Well, I'm trying to say, like, it's, it's, you get hired to fix a problem because it's your job. These people, by the way, the U Block people get paid shit, by the way. They do it for free, pretty much. White hat hackers, exactly. Adblock has worked with no problem until very recently on Twitch, so it works for all the rest. Oh my god, this is some fucking roleplay. No, man, it is very delusional, man. I'm telling you. There, again, it's, it's the same thing as white hat hackers and real hackers fighting against each other. White hat hackers get paid a lot of money to hack it, to stop hacking, and the hackers are the bad guys, quote unquote, right? They hire people to do that. The same thing with these ad blocker people. The hackers, the bad hackers that want to get the information, they don't get paid shit, but they do it, right? That's the, the ad blocker, you block people, right? And the white hat hackers do the same thing, but they get paid, so they have the incentive. Did you wonder why they only hired people to do it now, not decades ago? Oh my fucking god, because now it's a fucking problem. They're losing money. Why did they not have white hat hackers in like 20 years ago? Because it wasn't a problem. Not everybody was doing it. Holy fuck. <laughs> you guys are astounding. It's like you say something and it's like I just feed you back the logic. <laughs> really That's that why the they're doing it. They're losing do... money. They're not getting what? enough money. They want more. What are these people thinking? Chat is cooked today. Oh my god. <laughs> 
It's like we're role playing right now, man. Jesus. Which be it? Yeah. What it says here, guys? Whatever your Uvok origin stuff. Yeah, working, OBS you exists because it's this. free. Yeah. We are I'm baby. You guys, okay, like, I will feed. Uvok origin still working fine for me. Yeah, mine works just fine too. Yeah, I'm literally right. Uh, YouTube ads now. never seen a video I look at now. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't see why they offer a super simplified version of YouTube Premium that's cheap and only offers no ads. I actually think this is a great idea too. That's I think that would be better. Well. Uh, switch to Brave browser if you want to avoid ads. They'll um, break it. They'll break something. Couldn't, the Brave bro couldn't they just block people seeing things from a certain browser? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they can. The voices no, they can, in your head but that again? would get them sued. No, it wouldn't. How would it get them sued? Antitrust? Uh, I doubt it. Um, uh, I think that the truth is that... I pay for YouTube Premium, but honestly, it's too much. Yes, I agree. I would pay for YouTube Premium right now, but it's actually really expensive. In the grand scheme of things, if you do not live in America and you do not have, like, a decent, like... I, I don't think a lot of people can justify paying um, 13 or $14 a month. American, by the way. God forbid. God forbid you live in a country that's like, has a worse exchange rate. How much is YouTube Premium? $14. American. I think the government would actually side with Google in this circumstance. We help because, you in making like, what, out a 50 what minute video a 60 minute video. That, True. Content. So you think about it, right? <laughs> Thanks, Jet. Is that wrong? I, I disagree. So the reason why... And that's a lot of Yeah, right? it's expensive. I don't know what the EU laws are. I'm not sure. But if the reason why people are using a service is because Thanks, they don't want to uh they don't want to like they're basically using it to bypass the monetization of something mm -hmm. i i think that that's if they want to block that they're totally fine to do it 13 do. a month i'm telling you it's because kind the of website expensive it's pricey if they were doing that. make it like Everybody nine dollars maybe it'll be impossible maybe eight that'd be a little bit more reasonable 13 yeah it's, it's not quite a lot of money for, for quite a vast YouTube majority is not essential it's a service you choose to watch with ads or not you're not entitled to youtube yeah i think that's probably true too that's true yes but, i uh, agree let's see here i'll read a few more of these they ever stop my ad blocker i'm just gonna find another place to watch random dumb sh where the fuck are you gonna find this shit oh my god people are so delusional People are so delusional. I'll just go. I'll just go find random dumb shit to t to look at. Oh my god! It's almost like everybody would use a better alternative if it existed, but it doesn't exist. These people are schizos. Daily Motion Facebook. <laughs> Porn. <-ha! laughs> Yo, legit. Yeah, it's time. Yep. Yep, it's time, guys. We're gonna make our own YouTube with blackjack and hookers. <laughs> Shit. Does anybody believe this? Does anybody actually believe that this is gonna happen? No. 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 Again. Pornhub also has ads. This is what I think is going oh, no, to happen. Glee. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know. I think that this is going to become more and more common. Of the course. Ad block stuff. There are a lot of people who Just are like very ads on cable. about the idea yeah, that YouTube if they ads. stop allowing people to use ad block, that people will stop using the website. Based off of all the data that I have acquired through my career as being a content creator, all the data that I have observed through not only being a content creator, but actually I went to college for business administration. I understand how to read statistics, etc. Every Aspen single graph smart. I have seen, every single metric that I have seen, every single thing that I have seen does not prove that there is a correlation. Our crime media is going to be like TVs now and only old people will use it eventually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably what's going to happen. Honestly, it'll take a few years, I think, personally, but it will happen. It's the same thing as, like, how cable used to be not as aggressive with ads, and then eventually it got so bad that people just stopped consuming television. How many of you guys stopped just, like, looking at TV, period? Like, it, you just stopped. You're like, I'm done. I can't, I can't deal with, like, fucking 12 minutes worth of ads for, like, a 10 minutes worth of show. I couldn't handle it. It's me. Me? I still do. Oh, my God. You're such a boomer. <laughs> Way less nowadays. Yeah, but less than before. Didn't see TV since 2009, based. Stopped way long ago, 10 years. Cut cable eight years ago. Yeah, I think I cut cable probably, like... My parents cut cable, like, seven, eight years ago? Seven or eight? Yeah. 
So during lunch or dinner? Yeah, basically. Yeah. We will find another alternative, but it'll be a while. I have a 70 inch living room, uh, 70 inch TV in my living room that doesn't get used unless I have company over. Yeah, I, I only use it to watch like stuff on my phone and, and things like that. I've got cable still stuff. I haven't watched TV in like 10 years. Why do you pay for it then? I'm saying like, do you pay for it? Because there's people who pay for cable. Like you can have TV on, but you don't watch it. Nothing proves so yes, far I pay for it. that there Why? is a correlation Turn with having pre-roll ads <laughs> or ads crazy? even on Twitch with lower viewership. Not a single thing that I've seen. And again, I yeah. think that there will always be a way to get rid of ads if you are an extremely savvy user. Mm -hmm. Just if you like know TV. a lot about tech and you know a lot about uh, programming and how to use these extensions and how to remove caches. Like, for example, do you remember whenever, for example, I went to, uh, like, I think it was like Forbes. It might have been another website. Just to watch Netflix. And yeah, I, it's not I do it right too. Now, and it, it put like a, a paywall Here. up in front of me. And then I just opened the cache version and I read the article anyway. Yep. Do you guys remember whenever I did that? And everybody in the chat was like, wow, what the fuck? I can't believe he did that. I never knew you could do that. So <laughs> guess what? Most people don't fucking understand yeah, this Yeah, people don't know that. And I think that if you actually worked help desk anywhere, which I did. I didn't know man, that. Man, was that an eye opener. Guess I'm stupid. I've worked help desk before. <laughs> you cannot even imagine how stupid some people are with computers. It is scary. So you're right that maybe <laughs> as a super invested <laughs> internet user, you will be able to avoid watching ads. But in a general sense, ad blockers, I think, will one day become a thing of the past. Different websites and different stores will no longer make them compatible with different mm -hmm. browsers. People will be unwilling to use random browsers uh, mm -hmm. because they just don't know what they are. And the established browsers are much more trusted and people don't trust things on the Internet. Yeah, um, that's just, also a good point. You can't swap together. browsers people all the time. It's less annoying. less tech savvy, I think, in general on the Internet than they were 10 years ago because the Internet is much more normy nowadays. My HR manager had to look at what directions batteries go. Yeah, there you go. But one point is that you don't understand ad block works in the background. It is, it's reduced multiple hurdles to having that one add on. Okay, so then what happens whenever people like Google make Chrome? By the way, uh, just so you guys understand this, um, Chrome is 60, 63% of the- Wow. Wait, Firefox is less than Safari? Hold. Worldwide internet market share in September, 2023. So what happens whenever Chrome is shit, though? It Wait, Firefox is that unpopular? Really? Or is that market share worldwide? Like, what is this percentage market share? Is that how many users there are? 63%? As far as the basic Apple browser? Wow. Chat the wow. Firefox is very unpopular. What? Man, I have been using Firefox since like 2008 or some shit, or 2009 or 10. Chrome is the only non-default that's the most popular. Yeah, I remember when Chrome became a thing that was like super duper popular. That's crazy. People use Edge? Who the fuck uses Microsoft Edge? It's so bad. And also Safari is second. Edge PCs is are shit. just taking Look phone browsers into account too. I don't know. Actually, good point fucking massive now i use firefox i've always used firefox apparently uh -huh. nobody else uses this anymore so yeah. if you're google and you yeah, make a change that's crazy. like this it's going to affect everybody so why would google want people to download something that hurts their business model this change yeah. won't bother normies since they don't give a fuck about this kind of stuff exactly Who's like this edge probably that's what old i think people is going to happen who don't know how to download a new browser if this I is to going wager. to become yeah. increasingly more common uh i think everybody hates ads but the it's based on how many people use that browser they can track chrome is popular because of all the gmail integration ah it's just so popular because a lot of people don't even know they can get into the browser <laughs> agree that everybody hates ads i think is it's just okay man dude you're Most fried people, and this is again backed up by very <laughs> large amounts of data that i have seen you can look at look at streamers that run a lot of ads versus streamers that don't run a lot of ads 
There is no tangible viewer difference whenever that happens. Only there is for a small streamers, but that's because we have a smaller audience. That if you run ads or you do sponsored streams or something like that, we are going to stop watching you. What I have learned over the last 10 years is that is not a we, that is a me. And most of the times, it's mm -hmm. not even a me, it's just a lie. Ooh. They're gonna sit there and they're gonna complain and then I don't look like Asmongol for real, for real. Yeah, I got that. And ball they might spot. complain a couple of times and then eventually they let it happen. Sheesh. And that is how it happens. Yep. Every single time. Mm hmm Prove me wrong. Once again, it's a good time to be a tech geek. It always Unless people is. do watch sponsored yep, streams. They I'll read do. a few more of these. Yeah. And uh, then I want to move there on. But there are loyal that viewers who will watch you no matter see what. Ads, and that's true as well. Well, they don't want to see ads. Okay, well then what's the... You have to understand the logic behind this, right? There is so much money behind making you see ads versus there being no money behind making you not want to see ads. So uh -huh. what do you think is going to win out? Billions of dollars of advertising revenue or a few nerds that don't want to watch a 15-second ad? Come on. Mm -hmm. They're going to figure it out. Uh, mm -hmm. YouTube also has a premium mm -hmm. model that's ad-free, so it makes sense for them to implement this change since they're moving, losing money off the top from ad blockers. From a normie's <laughs> perspective, if it bothers them, they'll just buy a premium version. That is true, man. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, what's great Based about ad range is this isn't a new fucking model. Yep, you're right about that. And, it's more uh, than a few a nerds. Who paid Dude, for you're still on well, that code, man. To download, man. And uh, that's it. Let's see here. Still Based on, on the numbers, huffing. do you even lose a single percentage of viewers off of ads? Do you even lose the one percent of, nerds of is viewers disturbing off of from ads? Asman? No. I'm telling you, they don't but get paid. Maybe it's very hard to say because, like, it's such a small number that there's like so much natural variance that exceeds one percent. It's hard to actually look at that one percent variance and decide, oh, that's why this happened. So it's like, you you can't isolate that variable because hmm. it's too small and it's too granular with everything else that's happening at the same time. So I, I don't think I don't think so. What about really small streamers? Are Zoomers even on YouTube? Oh yeah, in, no, not the big ones. Zoomers I've said before YouTube. I do think that pre-roll ads instantaneously. iPad are, uh, kids are bad. love YouTube. Yeah, I think so. I want to apologize what I said earlier. I understand your point now. I completely agree with you. I also have our I want won't people find ways to bypass oh, that? Oh shit! Someone he un wait he got unbanned. Whoa. The tech savvy might create something and make it easier for those that aren't tech savvy, as we see in the case of ad blockers. Yes, we can. And um, I, I do think that, based. like, for example, like the oh, pirate bay. Oh, he had a time and a uh, timeout. Right? Uh, oh, okay. Whenever the pirate bay went down, out. and like you know, it was going down and up and down and up, and like it I lost am. popularity. Uh, I feel like a lot of people, like myself and like a number of other people that I know, <laughs> I love uh, you, Daddy. Using don't it, ban and me. And we stopped pirating. <laughs> I think it would be really based if someone in our chat was like a giga tech savvy person and then they like made it easier for people to consume an ad blocker and figure out a way. But the thing is, is that you have to like, it's constantly going to be broken. Because it was just annoying to go through other websites and yeah. they weren't really high quality websites. It'd be cool. So you're right that like, obviously people will try to pr promote stuff like this, but it's also up to Google to determine whether they allow those things to interact with their browser or not. Yeah, there were people whenever LimeWire was removed that stopped pirating content. So that's what I'm really trying to get at. Obviously, this yeah, is a, lot a topic. Of people did. This is one of the Crazy. topics that I, love like I said talking that at about the start. because I have an opinion that a lot of people disagree with, and my opinion is right because of numbers, and other people are mad because the numbers don't agree with their opinion. And I just think it's funny uh, whenever I talk about this stuff and uh people get pissed off about it well now so cocky i wouldn't i'm not cocky i'm just experienced in being right i'm right just like i was it. three years ago whenever i said this was going to happen and everybody said i was crazy <laughs> and you know what cock yeah. in three years or five years from now record this video Some write people... it down bookmark it and let's come back to it Oh, that'd be sick, man. That? What content, man? The logic is crazy. right, but ad blockers will still win. By the power of friendship, I'm sure. <laughs> Yo, base. <laughs> By the power of friendship. Yep. <laughs> you heard it here, guys. Friendship overcomes corporate America, by the way. 
Here's the problem. Aspen's audience is terminally online. They are the ones who will always have ad blockers. It's a bad place to make that take. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm willing to bet. I will bet my fucking life savings that less than 5% know how to do a workaround around ad blocks being broken right now. I, I, I'm, willing to, I'm willing to bet that. I'm not joking. If it breaks and it's not easy to fix by like, I don't know, like uh, reinstalling and uninstalling an extension or you have to do, if you have to do more than five minutes of work, people will not do that. It's, it's not feasible. I'm telling you. He has 20,000 viewers concurrent. You really think that more than 5% if you take changes based on your arms, please shut up. I mean, I'm saying like even now, how many of you guys would do it? Probably not a lot. As was correct, humans are so more lazy and dumber than you think. I think that a lot of people, no offense, in Twitch chat, not this one, not this one. Like I'm, I'm saying this as a generalization. I'm not trying to pick out anyone in particular. They are so stupid. It's they're so stupid. She talking about me? No, guys, I'm not. I'm not talking about you. I'm not pulling anyone out specifically. I can, I think we can all come into agreement that some people have different opinions, and that's okay. I'm stupid, but I'm stupid. I'm I am stupid about certain things. I I will not be afraid to admit it. I can't tell drive. My I'm stupid to my face, people. Uh, you're not stupid. Shut up. You're stupid about everything. I'm specifically stupid about driving, and that's okay. I'm very bad at driving. That's okay. I've never gone into an accident, but I'm bad at driving. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's just genetics. Shut the fuck up. There are more stupid people than others, and that is somewhat. Yeah, it is very alarming that there are people who are stupider than me. Is that not alarming to you? I say 11%. Nope. I disagree. 20% of, uh, 10% of... 10% of 20,000 is not a lot of people. It's a lot of people. I would put it to less. I am willing to bet that percentage using adblock right now will remain roughly the same in the future. Okay, man. I'm, I'll pin it. I'll put a little pin in my head about ad blockers and we're going to see. Mommy. Piss, piss, piss. Shit. Piss, 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 piss. <laughs> Fuck fucking shit on calm piss myself. Fuck 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 piss 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 piss